Welcome everyone to Moons and Pearls. I'm here to do a spiritual update for Aquarius. How are you guys doing? I hope you're doing well. Um, if you haven't already done so, make sure you like, share, subscribe to our channel, Luna, and I would love to have you guys. How have you guys been? I pray that these messages bring you clarity, um, confirmations, whatever you may be seeking at this time. All right, let's see what's going on in your current energy, Aquarius. Hi, Luna. What's going on with Aquarius? Your guardian angel, what's going on in the air? Energy for Aquarius. Shadow work, inner work. Grounding. So there's a call here to remind yourself to treat yourself kindly. Be that friend you are for others for yourself as you're working through shadow work. Shadow work, um, there's nothing to truly fear in the darkness unless you are willing to really know thyself. You are being challenged to do some shadow work and look at those things that you hold fear around. Even as a spiritual person, you are still human. It is okay to have flaws and to have parts of yourself that are not perfect or integrated. Own your fears, name them, write about them, find out why they trigger you. When you find out why, your ability to let these fears go increases. Ignorance is fear's best friend. Shadow work is ultimately about knowing thyself, which is work that never ends. Asking questions is a good place to start. Um, and grounding, um, I have found myself to be wanting or needing to be outside more, um, doing more walks, being in nature, and that's gonna help as you do this shadow work. Um, projection, unsympathetic, shallowness, harshness. It is time to see the situation or person in a more balanced and fair manner, even if it's uncomfortable or you need an outside opinion or mediator. You are too close to a bias and emotional, emotionally involved to see things without the lens of judgment getting in its way. Come back to your ability to find compassion, understanding, and empathy. Misunderstandings and miscommunications can often become judgments if they are not addressed and cleared. Um, and sometimes, Aquarius, I know that I have this in me too. It's we can be so cold. We have the ability to detach and be really cold with others. So maybe it's a time if you've had a misunderstanding with someone or a relationship to have more sympathy. I'm not going to tell you what to do. It's just what's coming out in the cards. But let's see what's been challenging Aquarius. Spirit, what's been challenging Aquarius? Um, I think one of the biggest, uh, so I feel like somebody mistook your kindness for weakness and your biggest challenge has been to, I don't think you always like to be strong headed or, or very cold or very disconnected, but it's almost like then people say that you don't care and you're very cold, but I feel like this is because somebody mistook your challenge for weakness. Gemini, Capricorn, energy, what's more in the challenge? Challenge for Aquarius. They got to see this, this person. This could have been a twin flame situation or if you're dealing with someone, um, it's like they get to see, here, here's your card, the Queen of Swords in reverse, but you're not being nice anymore, I feel like, because this person, I feel like, um, tried to control you or manipulate you with words, um, not knowing that you, you are this King of Pentacles energy. You can manifest, you can have stability, you're very smart with your, your finances um, and how you, you set your foundations. Um, but you ended up choosing yourself. And I feel like your challenge has been this, like, um, like when you're nice, people mistake your kindness as weakness. Tell me more on this challenge. Yeah, you walked away. You moved to calmer waters. I almost want to say, like you say, yeah, okay, cool. 
I'm getting on my ship. I'm going to move on with my life. I, and I, and I see sword. So I feel like you didn't even truly talk about everything that was done to you. You just walked away. You pulled away. You disconnected. Um, so let's see what, what is this? Discovery, reawaken your sense of discovery and expedition. So I feel like you're you're also in a journey of rediscovering yourself because you were feeling a little bit lost in this connection. I'm gonna do our relationship card since we do have the four of wands and let your friends help you. See, you, I, I feel like when you recover, you also recover in silence, uh, Aquarius. You don't feel safe to to love the person that you were with and love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive which is why you have disconnected at this point okay so let's see what we have in your current energy current energy for aquarius what do we have for current energy for aquarius the star yes of course I feel like right now you're pouring all of your energy and your time and your like spoiling yourself. Tell me more. Making your dreams come true, whatever that may be. That was all of that. Um, tell me more on the current energy for Aquarius. Current energy for Aquarius. You're focused on building, whether it's by yourself or with somebody else. You're also in an energy of taking a risk um, and you're watching your investments. So you might be looking at investments, I'm hearing, online investments, um, foundations, just setting something for yourself up. Um, Scorpio energy. And like definitely putting an end to something. What is this? All this in and out energy or unstable energy, I feel like you're putting an end to that. Tell me more. Oh. You're the empress. Right now you are manifesting, you're creating, you're being creative. A new beginning approaches you right now, Aquarius. Um, I feel like God is giving you a new beginning, a new start in your life. And you're very protective of this new beginning. I think you've um, learned um about your blessings about your manifestations and you're comfortable i don't see you worrying about the past i just feel like people don't know how how kind and how good you are and then once they do something bad it's easy for people to turn around and say that you're mean or that you're cold um, but i feel like you're just protecting yourself and you're protecting your energy what's this ending for what's this ending for a family life that was unhappy. Maybe you were living with somebody. I see two kids too, um, but you were not happy or it wasn't making you happy. Could have been a fire sign. It was someone that was very, I even want to say aggressive with their words or tried to manipulate you like man child or someone very immature, someone pretending to be like a grown up, but they were like a child. Um, let's see what's coming towards you and then your future what's coming towards Aquarius and then your future you you might have been going out a bit um you might there's a return who's returning what's this return about <laughs> there might be a showing up here uh there's someone wanting to return um apologizing for leaving you out in the cold making the wrong choice this could have been someone you were married to or a twin flame or a soulmate here. Tell me more of what's coming towards you in the near future for Aquarius. Memories, nostalgia, and wanting a happy life with you because they're not happy where they're at. Okay? I don't know if that's what's coming up, you guys. So let's see. Let's take some um, universe cards for you guys. Let's see what's coming up. Adjustments are required. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Yeah, we talked about this. The energy is gaining momentum. Your manifesta manifestation energy is gaining momentum. So take advantage of that. Okay, 
and we'll see what we have here from our angels or beautiful Aquarius compromise you might have to compromise in the situation let's go get more information so let's do the let go card I feel like I should do one more the time has come to let go of this situation. Stop focusing on how or when it will be solved or even why it occurred. Relationships that are unhealthy, we just talked about this, or unfulfilling should be released in order to allow something better to come along. Don't worry. Source and your angels have everything under control. A key aspect to manifesting your desires is to ask for what you want and then release it to heaven. If you draw this card, you may be holding on too tightly to the way your dreams will unfold. Make a wish and then leave the rest to your angels. All right, you guys, this is what I have for you guys. If you haven't already done so, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Ciao.